Cleveland's plan to transform education has just gotten a significant endorsement. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee is just back from City Hall where the plan now has the support of council. And Deb, why is this council support so important? Well, Mayor Jackson told me that it's significant because the council members represent the people of Cleveland and their vote tonight in support of the plan was overwhelming. This plan requires some legislative action to make changes in state law, and tonight City Council's vote urges state lawmakers to pass the legislation needed to implement the plan for the children. We have to be a champion for them, and we were put there to be a champion for them. That's why I support this resolution. I also want to hear from our state representatives, and the governor, if he was standing right here tonight, I'd say to the honorable governor, what about school funding? You can't keep taking our money and then ask the burden to be placed on Cleveland homeowners. Now, a double-digit levy is not going to pass in this town. I'm telling you that right now. Is that the cavalry isn't coming. Anybody who thinks that Columbus is going to ride in on a white horse and suddenly fund our schools and do the right thing, Mr. Chairman, is following a fantasy book that I don't even know exists anymore. Of course, Cleveland schools are facing a $65 million budget deficit this year, and Mayor Jackson told me it's his goal to make sure that a levy passes. Now, the next community meeting to explain the education plan to the public will be April 19th. It will be at the Collinwood Recreation Center at 6 p.m. In the newsroom, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.